Reporter Jessica McMaster spoke with someone who's had long COVID since the beginning of the pandemic and a doctor who says the risk may be even higher than you think. Just standing and doing the same repetitive motions like this, it just sort of, it, it, it's tiring. I don't know why, but it's tiring. It was March of 2020 when Amanda Finley caught COVID-19 for the first time. Long COVID was not even a thing until about May when I heard about two other friends who were still sick. Two years into her journey with long COVID, Finley spends most of her time here at home. Exhaustion, dizziness, brain fog. Finley was diagnosed with postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, also known as POTS. The disorder can cause a wide range of symptoms with the hallmark sign being an excessive increase in heart rate. Some of Finley's long COVID symptoms did go away, but then came back when she caught COVID for a second time. Some of that vertigo and dizziness have come back. Amanda says everyday tasks like taking these stairs up and down to her apartment are so exhausting, she rarely leaves her house. Stairs just became really hard, like to the point where I was falling down the stairs. Before becoming sick, Finley worked as an archaeologist. I mean, I was out there in, in the field doing archaeology, digging holes in 100 degrees, lugging all this equipment around. Finley also took center stage as an opera singer. She's just one of the countless lives that's been changed by the pandemic. Finley says the health concerns around COVID are not black and white. It's not just you live or you die. There's this liminal area that is long COVID. Dr. Dana Hawkinson with University of Kansas Health System adds the risk of contracting long COVID goes up with each infection. Your chance of long COVID or long haul, depending on what study you're looking at, can be 15% to 50% of getting it. While the BA5 subvariant is more contagious, Hawkinson says it's not as severe as previous variants like Delta. Still, the risk of contracting long COVID remains significant, particularly for those who are not vaccinated. There is a substantial amount of data to support the fact that those people that are vaccinated will have a reduced chance of long COVID. Today, Finley spends most of her time behind the computer. A mother of a young son, she says their time together looks different too. My son is a trooper. Um, he knows that there are just days when I don't feel well, so we'll just curl up in bed and we'll play with Legos or watch, you know, watch Phineas and Ferb. That's one of his favorites. For son, taking notice of the hard days. He said something two weeks ago, mommy, we have to be fit. And I explained to him, well, buddy, there are a lot of people after COVID, they're still very sick. They can't just go for a walk. They can't work out. And he said, oh, well, we should take care of you. That was Jessica McMaster reporting.